What's going on guys? Here with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum, the somewhat for now Nuzlocke run. In the last episode we started catching some Shadow Pokemon and today let's get back on with our journey. And we are in the Pirate City Pokemon Center today. So as I said in the last episode we reached Pirate City and we started going around catching some Shadow Pokemon. So what does our team look like at the moment? We have Umbreon, Mokuhita, Kulava, Mischievous, Noctowl, and Skiploom. Um... I, t I don't think... I don't know if I'll end up using Skiplum. I probably won't use Noctowl that much. Um, I'm trying to remember what other Pokemon we catch. If we can catch other Pokemon right now... I don't remember what all is in this circle. I know there's like Sentret, there's Mistrevis, so I think we killed in the last one, which made me really sad, because I wanted Mistrevis, because Mistrevis is awesome. Um, I don't think we're going to bother taking on anybody else here today, so let's just continue on the story for now, because just battling those guys, it takes a lot of time, and it's not, like, really productive at all, just for a few Shadow Pokemon, and if we need more Pokemon later, we can always come back, so in the meantime, let's go talk to this guy. Eh, yeah, what's that? You want to know if I have a weird Pokemon? <laughs> if you want to know that much, you may have as well use your own eyes. I think I messed up his dialogue, so... Oops. Um, so... I almost didn't record today. You guys almost didn't get a video today because I've just had a very, very bad day. So, um, and I was like in a really bad mood all day. So I figured, okay, there's no point in recording or doing this because it's just going to make a bad video. But at the last second, I decided, okay, let's make a video. Oh my God, it's Ron. We get a catch Ron. Ah. Okay. Okay. If do not kill this thing. Makuhita, don't even think about it. Serious time here, man. I want this for it. I want this. What? Okay, okay, you can kill it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't die. Please don't die, Makuhita. That was a joke. Uh, uh, okay, so I was gonna like tell a story, but apparently instead I'm just gonna sit here and pray that Makuhita doesn't die. Um, it's actually like a pretty serious story, so hopefully we can get into that today. Um, oh god, it's a C dot. Um, okay. Oh my god, Makuhita. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Okay, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna kill yourself, so... I guess we'll Super Potion with Makuhita, and... Actually, you know what? We should probably switch Makuhita into someone that's a little more bulky, because Ferret's doing so much damage. That's, ridic that's ridiculous. Okay. What is Makuhita's... That really sucks. Like, apparently, Shadow Moves aren't physical nor special, so I don't know, like, who to send in. Alright, his defense is 27 to 30. Kulava's a lot more bulky. Mistrevis is very bulky. Um, Noctowl's really specially bulky, and Skiploom just has actually pretty decent bulk, so... I think let's go with Skiploom. I think Skiploom could probably take hits a lot better than Makihita. Anyways, so, um, let's try telling this story now. This is, originally, like, when I was planning to do this video, I'm like, well, I'll just take on all those trainers in the square, or in the circle thing, and I can tell the story while doing that, because it'll be a good background, I won't have to focus too much. And then I started doing this video, and I'm like, ha <laughs> screw that, that's boring, so... You may never get to see the story. I did plan on, like, making a big Facebook post on this, like, venting, so... If I don't end up talking about it today, just go look at Facebook, and you'll see me, like, venting there instead. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure out what's gonna happen eventually. Um, I could probably bite CDOT again, and that'll kill it. I, was, I wasn't gonna attack it, because I was worried with bite, but another bite should kill it. So, let's just go with shout. Okay, strength is very scary because we stabbed us 120 base power and skip boom oh. why why crit okay mistrevis i think the only thing mistrevis can be hit by is shadow rush uh man i'm such a sad caterpie right now i want this i want this fur it so badly this is gonna be my fur this is gonna be ron he will live again if it's the last thing i do in this video I will have this furret. Oh my god, you have more Pokemon. Why? Why? Why do you have more Pokemon, you horrible person? Alright, whatever. Let's bite furret this time and... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Matchup is a fighting type. Okay, let's switch Umbreon out because I'm actually kind of scared of that. Um, let's go... Noctowl resists fighting... No, Noctowl doesn't resist fighting type moves. Alright, who has a better physical defense? Because all fighting type moves are physical. Uh, 43, 42... 44. Alright, so they're all virtually exactly the same, but who has more HP? 82 compared to 106. Okay, Noctowl seems to be a better option here instead of um, Kuava, so let's take out that Machop as fast as we can. Because if we get that Machop out, we can bring Umbreon back out and hopefully stall. 
I really don't want Umbreon to die, because Umbreon is such a good wall. Alright, Shadow Rush isn't a move I'm really afraid of. It does so much. Ah, uh, okay. It's okay, we live that somewhat decently. Um, wow, really? Really, Mistrevious, right now you had to do that. Okay, wow, I predicted that well. That probably would have been a close to dead Umbreon. Um, I don't know if I should call Mistrevious out, because it will have that heightened critical hit rate. And we could probably take out the matchup and just focus on Furry. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that matchup. Then we can bring Umbreon back out. Oh my god, yes, helping hand. I quit. I quit. Nope. Nope, I want nothing of that. I'm not dealing with that. That's too much. Actually, I just realized with helping hand, that's going to probably do extra damage now. And a crit. Fantastic. And um, Noctile should kill the matchup now with Noctile Shadow Rush. As long as you don't go into hyper mode. I freaking swear. Okay. I am. I, um, I, I'm playing Coliseum on my own, like, simultaneously while doing this. I'm a lot farther in the game doing it on my own. And before I was able to purify Pokemon, um, I think once they get below, or once they get, like, their heart 80% open, they go into hyper mode a lot more often. And I had um, a Makihita go into hyper mode three straight times. Like, it'd go into hyper mode, I'd call it. Go into hyper mode, I'd call it. It never attacked. It's just it's all it ever did. So... Uh, let's use a Shadow Rush, and with Mistrevious, we will, um, I, I, sh I gotta heal up, because Shadow Rush, I think, will kill Mistrevious right now. Alright, so let's just, just for the heck of it, let's try catching it right now. I don't think it'll work, but, you know, why not? And Mistrevious will give a Super Potion, too, because I don't want Mistrevious to die. I'm using, like, oh my god, I can't freaking heal you, no! Ah. <sighs> I can't heal Mistrevious because of hyper mode. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Let's, um, I guess attack. Don't, don't use Shadow Rush on Mistrevious. Please don't use Shadow Rush on Mistrevious. I really want Mistrevious to live. Mistrevious is so powerful later on in the game. I really, really want Mistrevious. <laughs> I don't want him to die. Please just catch the fur. One, two, oh my god, yes, yes, no! No! Don't do it for it, don't do it for it, don't do it for it, don't do it. Okay, good. Just don't kill Noctowl either, wait, no. Um. Oh. And what's gonna happen? A crit, okay. Okay, I think we can catch it now. I have a good feeling about this. So, let's. Uh, that, Mistrevious is gonna die if Mistrevious takes a Shadow Rush. I gotta, I can't, if I call her out, I have to wait until next turn to heal her, so I have to risk it anyways. All right, well with Noctowl we can heal, and I don't want Noctowl to die, so. Let's heal with Noctowl, and then Mistrevious will try throwing another Great Ball. It has, it does have quite a bit less health now, so I think, I think we can catch it this time, guys. We're gonna get ourselves a Furret. If it's the last thing I do, we'll have a Furret. Okay, and it's gonna replace Skiploom, because Skiploom sucks anyways. Come on, please Furret, come be my Ron. Be my Ron. One, two, three. Yes! We got the Furret! And it's actually a boy this time, because the last Ron was a girl. <laughs> um, Wow, okay. Super happy face. I That was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Bah, that was it. That lying mirror B. He came up with the fancy tough sounding name Shadow Pokemon, but it's no big deal. You guys be careful too. Don't be played for a sucker. That's about all they'll give you if you win at the Coliseum. Shadow Pokemon? That's what it's called? A Shadow Pokemon? A Pokemon with the black aura? Oh my god, Lisa, you are so smart. You figured that out all on your own. Oh, oh crap, where are we going? Oh, are we going to see Mir B? Oh my god, is he going to play the music? Oh my god, I love the music! I trust things are going according to plan, Mir B. Oh yes indeed, Master Nesco. Our plan is coming along in a lovely, peachy, keen way. We have already broken Duking Spirit. We can do as we please at Coliseum without his meddling. We've been giving away Shadow Pokemon on the slide to challenge windows for gathering data. Good. The others also appear to be doing their parts to implement our plan. Our Shadow Pokemon plan is falling into place quickly. The final phase is not far off. Fwahaha! -ha. This is poking up my spirit to body. Oh, I feel like dancing. Save your dancing until our plan succeeds. I'm off. Okay then. I shall make my return to the cave where my darling Pokemon await my return. Let the music play. Oh my god, here it is. Da 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 it looks like the Colosseum's a secret. I guess there's no choice but to take part in a battle challenge there. 
All right, so if, um, if you guys hit, get the hit from that, we gotta go and take on the battle challenge in the Pirate City Coliseum to find ourselves a Shadow Pokemon and blah, blah, blah. Before we can do that, we're gonna... Okay, I thought this was a police station. This is awkward. Sorry, old people. I'm not a pedophile. I'm leaving now. Um, this is the police station. I know they do have a PC at the um, the Coliseum, but we're just gonna make it more... Oh, oh, what the... What the heck? What do you want? I'm sorry, Chief, but there's some trouble afoot. You see, Chief, there's talk that the thugs of wind is using strange Pokemans. But, huh, Chief? You're not Chief. I, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm here, John. I'm here, Johnson. The story isn't new. I've heard it over and over and over already. Oh, oh Chief, th there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> okay, well, that was actually really odd and pointless dialogue. Pokemon logic. Anyways, if we could actually manage to turn on the PC, let's go to our lovely death box. And, oh, Espeon, you're supposed to be in the dead box. What are you doing in the alive box? No. Go be... Wow, you only get three Pokemon in this game. Um, anyways, let's rename this Death, because Espeon is dead, and it, it deserves to have a proper name to suitify its proper distinction in life as a dead Pokemon. This is your fault. You had a chance to be alive, Espeon, and you ruined it. And now we gotta... Oh, yeah, we gotta put, um, Skip Loom, who... Didn't even get a chance to do anything. Like, its very first battle, never even got an attack, just instantly dies. Good for you, Skip Loom. Good for you. So, anyways, we now have Ron on the team. It's probably not good to have, like, two normal types, but for a record, I don't think anyone, like, really thinks of Noctowl as a normal type, because Noctowl should be a psychic type. I mean, Noctowl and Hoo Hoo are known for the, like, hypnosis powers, and they're not a psychic type for some reason. It just. More freaking Poke Logic. It, just, it hurts my brain so much. But let's make our way to the Coliseum. Uh, 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 um, oh, or not. I thought that was supposed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself because I don't remember what to do because I'm smart at Pokemon. Uh, it's been a long time since I played this game. It's been like a whole two days since I played this part. So I obviously don't remember what I'm doing. But we gotta go down here because this random building. Because this is one of those points where it's so obvious what you're supposed to do. You come in here and you got this big muzzle head with a douchebag mustache. And you got this kid. And in this entire place, you have no idea what to do in the game. You're supposed to come back to this bookcase and press A. Because, you know, who wouldn't think to do that? That's just so clear and obvious. And then you come in here and you talk to this kid because now we're all of a sudden becoming pedophiles. Yes, you are, Marcy. We've got to somehow snag them from those criminals. Oh, why did you startle me? How did you get in here? That's weird. My little brother's supposed to be on lookout. Yeah, your little brother doesn't exactly do a good job, is he? No. Anyways, after we talk to him, we'll come back outside and all of a sudden this gray-haired dude who looks like an old man, but he's actually a little kid, so it's really confusing. Duking, how much more are you going to take from me and B and his stooges? They're using you in the Coliseum. What is the matter with you? Have they sucked the spirit right out of you? Table stomp. Tch. Just you. Oh, wait, no. I, I, don't, I don't remember who's talking here. Um, Just you clam up. I've lost faith in you. Okay, that's really awkward silence. No one's saying anything. The man that went out of silver. He's Duking's friend. Why is that really buff big man friends with that tiny little kid? Anybody? Anybody? No? Okay. Nobody's gonna question it. Freaking Poke Logic. Anyways, now we can make our way to the Coliseum only. I might have accidentally like, spoiled it by awkwardly just standing by that building waiting for something to happen. But this time something will happen. Don't worry. Just you can you trust me, something's gonna happen. Just you yep, okay, here we go. Something's happened. This guy I wanna know what's going on in there, because this guy looks like he just had a really good time. Says someone there's trouble. Help me. Oh well, here hey buddy, what's up? The chief's inside, Silva came in. And, and what? Silva came in what? What did he do? Okay, you can repeat that, but you can't tell me what he did. Just, ah, freaking Pokemons. Oh, dude, no, dude, what's wrong? Hey, you okay? Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, that Silva's gone too far this time. He ripped out and he ripped out and ripped off one of the gears. The Coliseum's going to be without power. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, the only thing that's bruised is my pride. It was only Silva, so I wasn't expecting any trouble. <laughs> but isn't Silva Toxic's trust the lieutenant with his motive for doing this? That's what I want to know. He was ranting about how the Coliseum could just shut down or something. Sorry to worry you, younglings. Thanks. I'll be fine now. But I need to ask you for a favor. Will you hear me out? Uh, no. Oh, no. Don't be that way. Hear me out. No. Uh, don't be, you, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to freaking help you, okay? You're going to ask me to, like, touch you or odd places. Fine. I'll do it. But I'm closing my eyes. I'm not going to look. I don't want to know what's going on. I just, just tell me when it's over, okay? 
Uh, okay, it's over. Well, that was extremely awkward. I don't want to have to do that, guys. I'm sorry you had to watch that. I know this is supposed to be like a... Oh, oh, look who's back on his feet. You actually going to say something useful now? Huh? Silva, he must have been the driver to this... You're just completely useless. What are you even doing there? What is your job? You look like a nerd. Not that there's anything wrong with being a nerd, but you look like the kind of guy who he doesn't even like know what a boob looks like. And I feel extremely sad for you because they're kind of like the greatest invention in the world. Anyways, this is yet another moment when it's absolutely no direction on what you're supposed to be doing. So, if you've never played this game before, you're going to be completely lost. Well, remember that construction lot we were at earlier? Yeah, now it's actually going to be useful because this is, once again, completely freaking obvious that you're supposed to be doing this. But, if you head back into this construction lot, you'll see something shining in the back here. You pick that up and, boom, you found a gear for the windmill. Why is there a windmill in, like, windmills are supposed to be really happy things. You know, when I think of windmills, I think of, like, uh, of donuts, and I think of, like, fields of green. And yet, this rusty old place has this rusty old windmill, and it's just completely killing the mood of, like, this is supposed to be a really bad place, and they got a windmill, and it just automatically cheers me up, because windmills are badass, and I want a windmill now, and nobody's letting me touch the windmill, and I just want to go for rides like it's a Ferris wheel, and everybody's ruining that, and I just don't understand why everybody's doing this to me, and I just, I want the windmill! I want to ride the windmill! Ah! Sorry. Terribly sorry, Chief. You sure you're okay? Hey, yep, I'm fine. There's no need for all the worrying. Good, that's good. But, Silva, this is an outrage. This is a Dragonite. No, no, I reckon he agonized over this and did it because he thought it was right. I can't blame the man for that. Enough of that, though, King. Instead, I think you should look over there. Oh, what? You people? He, <laughs> he, I reckon you might be saying thanks, Duke King. Uh, that, that gear. You found it for us? What amazing luck. Yeah, it really would be luck if you didn't know what to do, so I appreciate that. I'll ask you to excuse me for my behavior earlier. You seem to be the people who are worthy of trust. You have my sincere thanks. Alright, I'll get you to slap that gear snugly back in the gap where it belongs. Oh my god, dude, what is what is it with this guy and the sexual innuendos? He wants me to put that gear where it belongs, uh-huh. He wants me to pull his lever. He wants me to spin his windmills. Oh god, I don't like this guy. There's something a little fishy about him. I mean, look at that hat. What is he hiding under there? All done, standing by, let it roll. Oh, 30 long years of cranking gears. Oh, yeah. He gets way too much satisfaction out of pulling that handle. Or is that handle on innuendo as well? Oh, my God. I'm just starting to question, like, everything in Pokemon now. Is everything in Pokemon a sex joke? Seriously? What, exa what is going on in these Colosseums? Wow, that's the way it ought to be. Things are fine now. Okay, well, that wasn't awkward enough. I can tell you're a man of courage and honor. I'll have a favor to ask. Will you hear me out? Yeah, sure, because if I don't, you'll probably punch me. I'm grateful. I want you to enter the next Coliseum battle. I need you to win the knockout challenge to find out what is going on there. I... <coughs> the coughing noise is sorry. I can tell from a glance that you're no ordinary traitor. I know you can win. I'm sorry, but help me. I obviously have no decent Pokemon of my own except for a weak little Plessel, which unfortunately you'll probably end up using because you'll accidentally kill everything else because you're just the worst Pokemon trainer, and you'll be left with nothing but a tiny electric mouse to save your ass because you suck at life. So please, thank you, heal my Pokemon. Or, do something, just do it because I'm a big strong man and I can't do anything myself. I appreciate this. I'm gonna buy you a cookie now. Okay, well... Um, before things get too weird, let's go take on the Pokemon Coliseum knockout, just pyrite thingamabob tour of things with where we battle people. So, yeah. Hello, welcome to the pyrite. Okay, we don't even freaking need dialogue for this girl. She doesn't deserve dialogue. So, and let's go in our way. Oh, oh, Lisa. Lisa, you coming along with us? You just, you gonna stay there? Oh my god, we gotta go somewhere without that bitch. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so I believe the Pyrite Coliseum is four rounds. I don't know if to progress harder and harder if all four, po all four trainers have like the same levels. So, it's going to be a mystery for me, because I really don't remember, but, um, it's not going to be that easy to get a winning streak going. Yeah, because you look so f Wait, is that a guy or a girl? I don't know, it looks like a guy's, like, build, but it has a very girly face. Oh god, he's got a Barber Roach, I quit. Have you seen Hoodlum Scrafty's Barber Roach before it evolved into Wish Cash? That thing was murderous, it killed everything. I just, no, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I don't need that in my life. That's a lot of pressure, and I'm just... I'm just trying to be happy right now, you know? I'm trying to be in a happy place, and this bar roach is just coming along and making my life complete hor completely just horrible, unnecessarily difficult, and I just, I don't need this kind of stress. So if I could just ask... Oh god, he's got water gun. Oh, don't squirt me. 
Oh, oh my god, it's more sexual windows, innuendos. A female Pokemon squirting water. Wow, Nintendo. Game Freak. Oh my god, Freak. Game Freak. It all makes sense now. Oh, you know, uh, when I was younger, like, when I first heard of Playboy, I always thought it was like, um... I always thought it was like a version of Game Boy, because, you know, Game Boy, Playboy. I'm like, oh, cool, it's a game, and... <laughs> Like, my first time I ended up looking at a Playboy, I'm like, wow, this is fun. <laughs> so that, that, that was probably really awkward. Um, let's pretend I never said that, okay? Anyways, the good thing about the Colosseum battles is I do believe they heal your Pokemon in between each battles. Which I actually probably realize is really bad for a Nuzlocke, because if something dies, then they're still going to be alive. Wow, we didn't seriously kill the Sandshrew? Alright, whatever. And one more move, bite, should just finish it off. Okay, so this should be a good time to tell that story, because for the most part, I don't really need to do too much thinking here, because all these battles are really easy. So, um, for those of you who, like, don't care about my life or anything, you could probably just stop watching this video right now, because I'm kind of going to use you guys as a little bit of emotional support to vent about how much I hate everything. So, as you guys are aware, who, especially if you followed, like, the beginning of my Light Platinum Nuzlocke run, I recently, about two months ago now... I ended up breaking up with my girlfriend, Pepper, who, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to try to get too much detail into that, but I've been trying to move on with my life and move on to other girls because just, like, being sad over her, there's no point in that. And I recently met a girl that I really like, and she was really awesome. She liked Pokemon. Uh, we always just, we got along really well. She, she liked me as well, which is really awesome. And things just seem to be going really good. You know, we hung out Saturday. Um, evening we hung out together and it was really awesome and today she told me like hey come meet me after school at, um, at McDonald's because we had like went to a McDonald's when we were together and she's like hey come meet me at Mc this McDonald's again and I should probably switch Makahita out so oh you're still in freaking hyper mode wow um, so I go to the McDonald's to, me to meet her there and I don't see her there yet so I get out of my car like hop onto my trunk and start listening to music just to wait for her and all of a sudden, these two guys walk up to me, like, in their mid-40s. And they start asking me who I am. They start asking me why I'm there. And I should point out, the girl I was supposed to meet in meeting is 17 years old. So, and I'm 18, so it's not like there was anything wrong with what was going on. Um, and they start asking me who I am. They ask me, like, my age. They ask to see my ID and everything. And I'm just like, I had no, I really no idea what was going on at the time. So I just comply to be like, oh, ha 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 Aha, I didn't see that one coming. Wow. I should have known you'd have hidden power fighting, actually. Um, okay, let's switch Umbreon out. And let's go Mistrevis. I want to get Mistrevis Shadow Ball, and that's Mistrevis' final move, which is really annoying. Anyways, um, so I end up like doing this as these guys say, and all of a sudden, just out of the blue, they start threatening me. And, you know, they start calling me a rapist. They start calling me inbred for some reason, because they said, wow, you look like an inbred rapist. I'm like, wow, that's really mean <laughs> and um i don't i don't know why these guys are doing this and they started in threatening me and he, this one of the guys who was doing most of the talking was doing everything he could like provoke me into fighting him and i was just refusing to do it because i didn't want to fight i'm not like a really violent person i used to be um i used to be like a lot more violent when i was younger i used to get into fights a lot and i don't do that anymore you know it's just it's not my nature i'm really laid back and calm person now so, but this guy, he was doing everything he could to get, to like, make me hit him. And I assume it's because he wanted an excuse to hit me. Um, and I just, I wouldn't do it. And when people yell at me, I should point this out. When people yell at me, I become a really sarcastic asshole. And I do everything. I can't take people serious when they yell at me. I just, I find it funny when people yell at me. And I start mocking them and teasing them and doing everything I can to piss them off even more. Because I'm just that big of a douchebag. And these guys, they were yelling at me. They were trying to threat me, trying to start a fight with me. And I just was not taking them seriously at all. I'm like, hey, do you want to go into McDonald's and get something neat? I started asking about, like, what's his favorite movie? What does he like to do in his free time? Just completely making a fool out of him and being an asshole. And I guess finally, he ended up having enough. During this course of time, he ended up taking my phone out of my hands. They still had my ID because they wanted to see my ID. They ended up, like, taking pictures of that for some reason. Um... Then he ended up, like, taking my glasses off my face. I don't know why he did that. And he ended up, like, trying them on and saying, like, wow, your eyes are shit. I'm like, no fucking duh. Why do you think I'm wearing glasses? So, uh, and I guess eventually he just got tired of the fact that I wouldn't hit him. 
And um, I guess I just I provoked I teased him so much and I got him to nerf so much and he ended up punching me in the jaw and like knocking me off my car. Then him and the other guy, keep in mind, these are like really heavy set guys in their mid 40s. They both ended up punching me a few times and kicking me. Then they threw down my all the stuff they had on me on the ground next to me and ended up telling me never to talk to that girl again. So and then they ended up leaving, just leaving me there to like recoup and I just I like I don't even know what happened because I tried messaging this girl afterwards and I've never got a response. To be fair, she hasn't read the message yet because I tried messaging her on kick and it's still just sent on the S for sent. So I don't know if I was blocked or what, but I have, you know, it's just like I have no idea what I did to deserve that to happen. You know, we got along so well that just out of the blue, these two guys start to show up. I don't know what their relation to her was. I don't know if they were her, you know, dad and friend or what, but. Just, I mean, I just wanted to be her friend, you know, see what happens, just become her friend and move on from there. And she asked me to come meet her for lunch, so that's what I was doing. And all of a sudden, next thing I know, I'm going to beat up by these two guys I never even met before. And so that really just kind of, like, ruined my day for me because I was, I was in a really good mood because I was really happy and I was really excited about, like, meeting her and all this stuff. And it just out of the blue, I feel like complete crap now because of it. And I was... Like, on the way home, I was having so many mood swings, because I kept switching between, like, wanting to break down in tears, just from being so sad and depressed, and wanting to just scream and hit somebody, and just be completely ballistic. And, like, every, like, 30 seconds or so, I would switch between the two. Like, I'd have tears in my eye, then I'd start, like, screaming at the cars next to me. W wait, wait! Oh my god, I thought Umbreon died. I wasn't looking at the screen, and I didn't see Umbreon on the screen. I was like, what happened to Umbreon? But no, he's still here. And... So that's how... That, and... I... I really got me down today. I was feeling really depressed because of that, and... I ended up coming home, and I talked to some friends, and... A little while ago, I just got off the phone with the real Lisa. And she managed to cheer me up, so... If she's watching this right now, thank you for talking to me. I appreciate it. But that's what's happened to me today, so I've been having a really bad string of luck with girls lately, because um, there's a lot more stories I haven't told you guys about, and maybe someday um, I'll like vent about that on Facebook. So if you haven't liked my Facebook page, um, I only use it like once a month, but there's always a link in the description as well as my Twitter, so you should follow both of those. And that's my story, you know, that's how I randomly got beat up, and luckily they didn't like break my glasses or my phone, and... I never did get McDonald's, which made me really sad, because um, now I'm like kind of craving chicken nuggets. But anyways, let's get on with the final battle now with this big buff dude who's thinking he can take us on, when in reality he can't. He thinks he's so intimidating, but he's not, because he, oh my god, he's got a bag on. Never mind, I, I, I quit, I quit. Nope, nope, I'm not doing this. I'm not battling him, it's not worth it. I don't want to die. So I just realized this has been Umbreon and Makahita the entire time, so maybe I should consider using somebody else, but Makahita's just... Wait, does, I wonder if Makahita has his fourth move yet. Um, does he? Oh, he's got Cross Chop now, so let's try that out on um, Golding, who I think Golding may have Peck, but there's no way that would one-shot Makahita, so I don't really... I feel somewhat confident using um, Cross Chop. Oh, no, okay, Surf actually might do a little bit of damage. How is this tiny little fish commanding this giant-ass wave? I'm sorry I keep cursing this video, I just... I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, oh, cool, we got Flinch Hacks, awesome. And we're probably gonna miss. Yep. Um, I just kind of thought about this. Like, how? What? What? What kind of sadistic person would surf on top of a goldine? Just like throwing this tiny little fish on the water and then standing on top of it. That's torture. This. That's like how is Zubat carrying a Squirtle? I don't freaking poke logic. I don't know. But um. Anyways, that's how my day was. How was your day's guy? How was your guys' day? Like I said, I wasn't gonna record. I was just in like such a negative mood. I was just. I didn't, I'm like, okay, there's no point, if I'm in this bad of a mood, there's, like, no point in trying to record, because the commentary is probably going to be really crap, but after talking to friends and cheering up, I felt happy, and I wanted to do this video, so I'm actually doing it really late, like, it's 9 o'clock right now, and normally, by this time, I'd be rendering today's video, or even uploading it, so this video is going to be posted rather late, because Coliseum actually takes longer to make, because it's, um, like, GameCube footage instead of Game Boy, so it takes longer to render, and that's why I only do it once a week, because it takes a lot longer than normal. And Deli Bird, Ooh, interesting. Um, wait, oh, Sonic Boom. That's actually, I hate Sonic Boom, because it doesn't do, like, a lot of damage later on in the game. But early in the game, if Pokemon is Sonic Boom, it is devastating. I hate it so much. But, um, 
luckily we start off like not very um, early in the game. We start, I would say like by this point you're usually at like your fifth or sixth gym. So um, I think we end this game in only like the mid 50s. So we actually don't progress that much in levels. So there, that's like the good thing about doing this game is you don't have to do a lot of grinding. And if you do, you can just go to Mount Battle and it's actually... Really? Freaking, of course we miss. It's actually, like, really easy to grind him out battle, so I can't complain about that. Hopefully he'll, like, give us some HP, because that'd be really nice. Delibird, you want to give us a gift? <gasps> oh, he did! <laughs> That's awesome! And my, thro my throat is starting to hurt a lot because of all those voices I did, so hopefully this battle doesn't go on much longer, because I don't think I could keep talking much longer, because I'm afraid I'll lose my voice if I do, and I really don't want to lose my voice, because that really sucks. Because I've lost my voice, like, when I was doing Red Rescue Team, I had to do a lot of dialogue, and I think there was like one video that was just 20 minutes of pure dialogue and me having to do different voices, and I lost my voice after that because it, it just hurt so much and I couldn't talk for like a few hours after that. Um, so that's like the one bad thing about Coliseum is like it's very dialogue heavy at times, and I want to keep up with the story because the game actually has probably like the best story in Pokemon. I haven't played Gale of Darkness, and I do plan on doing Gale of Darkness. After this, for the record, I found, like, the only copy of Gale Darkness is 40 bucks. so if anybody out there has it and they don't want it anymore, you should totally, like, send me a message on YouTube and send it to me, so, just saying. And we got 4,000 bucks as victory money, and we got TMO6, which is awesome, and next time we'll be going into Mir B's lab, and probably facing, actually, I don't think we'll be, I don't know, we'll be doing stuff next time. Thank you guys for watching, until next time, I'm Marty Tech Yo-Yo, if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed my little venting about my horrible life, make sure to enjoy it and like the video down below. Until next time, not till next week for Pokemon Coliseum, I'm Marty Tegyo-Yo. Peace!